slavery worked. They hoped we'd still be here today, fighting and trying to take down our own. We can prove them wrong. Uplift your own. Those are the wise words of Todrick Hall, the celebrity influencer for, let me check my notes. Ubisoft's Just Dance 2021, a brand new video game that is not coming to the Nintendo Wii. My name is Nicholas Grace, and I am not the host of this episode of Channel F. It's actually Khalif Adams. Khalif. Well, well, first of all, thank you for, for throwing that over to me in the in the best way. Shout out to Ham Hawks and Black Eyed Peas. Thank you so much, everybody in the chat. This is night one of <laughs> Hot Game Summer 2021. The night edition, the recap edition, we're going to bring you all the news that you missed during today's shows, all the wonderful conversations, all the wonderful conferences, all the conferences that should have been emails that we are going to bring to you <laughs> tonight. <laughs> we are super hyped to have that. And there goes Todrick right now. He's telling us about how slavery was great. Uh, shout out to Todrick Hall. Uh, shout, joining shout me out. <laughs> this evening, Nikki, give the folks at home a little bit of love. What's How up? are you doing? Hi, what's up? I'm good. Can you believe it's, you. it's already day 15 of this conference? I, I It is the longest conference of all conferences, and it's only been day 1.5 to for, for the most part. It's, it's very, very long, but it, we're here. We here. We, we, have, we have figured it out. We have figured it out. We are making it happen. Merritt, how are you doing? How's everything going? Uh, I'm good. Yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just enjoying this conversation that I feel really equipped to like participate in and like contribute to. You know. Do you have any? I, I, do you or Stephen have any kind of opinions that you would like to voice? Right. Yeah, I would love to sort of voice my important <laughs> thoughts on this. Um, yeah. Yeah. I want to like put your hand in the put your hand on this. Just ball. sort of put my just sort of drop a, a bomb in there and then leave. Um, yeah. Okay. No, I'm excited. <laughs> E3's here, baby. E3 is in full effect O. Steven, how are you doing? I'm good. Um, loving this, the 428th day of E3 2020. Um, glad that we just never let it end and that we just like <laughs> sort of did the spillover into this one. Um, it's great. Uh, now, I will say the minorities are getting a little bit punchy, all of us here, um, <laughs> like the, the queer people and uh, whatnot. Uh, I think based on our pre-show talk, uh, our kind of letting the veil drop in a couple of different ways here that uh, maybe nah. some people in our audience aren't prepared for, but yeah. Nah. Listen, it's, it's I mean, listen, the sun's not out except for it yeah. is. Um, <laughs> so I can say anything. <laughs> it's dark I here. Mean, so. True, 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 true. You know, true, true. I, you know, I, you saying, know the saying, it's dark somewhere. You know, it's the same, it's <laughs> nice <time> somewhere. <laughs> I mean, if we're talking about Todrick's heart, that's what we were talking about in terms of dark <laughs> things. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, hashtag uplift your own. Uh, thank you so much for all that wonderful stuff. Uh, again, thank you all for watching and listening. Uh, this has been a blast to be able to do all of this with the with the rest of the crew. It, you know, it has been super fun. We haven't seen each other in forever. Face to face camera stuff. It's been so so long, uh, and this is going to be great. Super excited to, to to get this to be the thing that it's supposed to be tonight, and, and be super excited for for all the information that we're going to share with all of you tonight. Um, there were a lot of conferences that happened in the past 48 hours, 24 hours, 48 hours. Yeah, 48 hours. Uh, and, yeah. and the one that was the kickoff to all of this madness uh, was Jeff Keighley, the keister, uh, as I like to call it. Okay. No, I don't like to call him the keister. Your uh, personal friend. Kind of, <laughs> the key you know, master. we hang out. The key, that's a way better, way better one than the, the keister. Jeff the keymaster Keighley. <laughs> No Jeff doubt. comes out on stage in a black coat with Mickey Mouse and he says, I'm ready to take down Sayonara oh, now. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> he started with the Summer Games Fest kickoff uh, that was a an ode to many, many things and, and brought about many, many feelings and ideas and thoughts. Uh, there were a lot of games that got talked about during that particular conference. Uh, I want to go around the table really quick because I think, you know, before we go into the actual like list of things that got shown, was there anything specifically that that each of you kind of had? An <laughs> hey, it's a day. Hey, there Adeo. he is. Uh, um, good Papa. Papa is here. Any yes. <laughs> was, okay. First of all, we have to talk about before we actually get into the game, since since the B-roll of Hideo and, and uh, Jeff is up. The the love the love relationship between Jeff and 
and Hideo is really interesting because at this point, it just feels like I know Hideo Kojima and I'm just going to have him come out whenever I ask him to come out. It's magical, like poof magic at this point. He didn't Jeff even have a, Keeley, a Jeff Keeley and Hideo Kojima is the first instance of simping actually working. So, yeah, I just sorry. I want to point out is there does Jeff Keeley have a batarang? Is Jeff Keeley Batman? Did yeah. he leave a batarang just out while he was on stream and forgot about it? Because yep. if he comes back, there's a battering on his right side. Yep. Damn. He totally has and, a battering. Uh, yeah. So does that make Hideo like Kojima Robin? Uh, Interesting. Or is Night, Night, Nightwing? Right? Maybe like an Azazel type character? Azrael? Oh, Azrael. You know? Yeah. Oh, like, great what's freeze frame on, Je oh, on Jeff there. Oh, <laughs> Jeff. The key master. <laughs> oh, poor Jeff. <laughs> yeah, oh, battering. Yeah. Poor Jeff. Jeff looks is that the game award he gave himself? <laughs> his own game award. <laughs> it's his. He can make Unless his own. He invented them. He gets one for best game. <laughs> yeah, awards. he gets to have one. As like, what do you think I that game award mine. says? Like they have to have etchings best. on them, it right? That's like best, best game. Whatever. Best. This, this is, is best. mine. This is mine. Yeah. Mine. Jeff. Which says <laughs> best Jeff. <laughs> Kyle, when when uh, Jeff allowed you into the into the X Men house, uh, making you part of the future class. Um, yes. Did you get one of these statues or no? No, I didn't. I, w I wanted one. I want one of those real back because I think they're actually like really we'll nice We'll make you trendy statues. gamer and then you'll get canceled in 18 months. Is that okay? <laughs> I mean, that's the way it usually works. It's like the Madden curse, but for people who are less talented. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, 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 it's one of those kinds of deals where you wind up having How that. Uh, Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say, how dare you say that about, and then I could not think of a single trending gamer that had ever won before. I could not conjure a Have name. Or not Greg even a Miller? Doctor, just... Greg Miller. Oh. He's the only one that hasn't he... gone bad. Mm. He's the only one with talent, yeah. too. One of them. <laughs> yeah, it's true. One of them One of them shot a bunch of bullets in the air last year. Yes. Um, well, I've done that. Oh, and, yeah. <laughs> and then Boogie, the other Boogie. ones uh, filmed the child pissing. And then Dr. disrespect. Yep. Who's the other one? Or is it just that. those three? There was just those three. <sighs> it's just it's those just three. three? So two out of three are bad. That's bad. Yeah. Yeah. Math. yeah. yeah. It's, it, it doesn't really add up in, in lots of different ways. It doesn't really add up to what, yeah. why those, those other two at least got a, got a nod at that stuff. Yeah. Um, Hideo came on to really not talk about much, uh, except for the kind of new version of, death stranding that wind up supposedly when is that supposed to drop it's supposed to drop at some point soon is this supposed to be a remaster I, or a remake or a i think it was just the some uh, point director's soon. cut oh that's right thank which you implies, of which is. implies but that implies somebody told hideo no on that one and right, i don't which is really yeah I, that like, can't be true right that game is already a director's cut like if anything, uh, it needs right? it needed an editor's cut, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are you, so right. Do you suppose that, like in this case, the 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 person who cut things from Hideo Kojima was money, was budget, and he's like, now I've got more of that oh. because we sold copies of a game, and now right. I get to cut it again. You think, but you think they got that money in the year, and then were able to? Use that month to spend that month. I feel like the turnaround time on was, that is weird, huh? I think this it's Master Chief. Made. It's here, yeah, with like predator hair. Yeah, it's, it's like it's, <laughs> <laughs> I think this was honestly, already in the can, and they just they yeah. decided to actually just let it go. There's no date for this yeah. yet, but honestly, like now that we're talking about that, I'm kind of obsessed with the idea of an editor's cut for very long video games, where they're just like yeah. we mm. cut out like thirty percent of the content, like they did with Final Fantasy fourteen. Yeah, they did that um, with um, right, Wind yeah. Waker HD as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, like they cut I think out that's all actually a really good bullshit. idea. For mm -hmm. like changing tastes and changing situations. Like Final Fantasy XIV was a game that they just needed to get as much content in there as possible to like fix that game because the original version was so bad that they just like filled it with fetch quests and stuff like that. And it's like, okay, we've got enough game here at this point, six expansions later, that we can just make like people get mm -hmm. to the good stuff right now. Oh, does he get in this yeah. box? I haven't, I haven't oh, finished her. Have you not seen this? Thing. Oh, no. Yeah, it's 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 a oh, lot of like teasing. Metal Gear. Yeah, it's, it's like a, an it's a lot of teasing for the fan base. But he, if wait, we, but if we, does he end up getting in the box? Oh well, do we don't want to spoil it for you? Now? Oh, okay, he does it. Perfect. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. 
There you go. Jumps in the and fight. And that's like it. Like that's the whole thing. Oh yeah, like, that's it was, the show. yeah. Yeah, it was really weird. It wasn't one of those things where you 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 know everybody was really excited to be like, oh, is this means he's going to make a Metal Gear game? Or is this gonna, is this what we're going to wind up seeing? And then it wind up kind of closing out on you're this idea like, of them doing more work. Yeah. Do you, yeah. Do you suppose it means like, oh, they're they're going to do some stealth stuff because he's in that like facility where there's a bunch of guards walking around with a bunch of corpses. Like maybe they're going to have some some sneaking mission type things going on, and that's mm. what they're hinting at. Hmm. I, I suppose so, but I don't remember. Like, I mean, uh, his character had some weapons, but yeah, we, we had guns in that in that in that game. So I don't see why totally. not. Totally, you, you don't want to it. use them because they can do right. everything yeah. if people die. But right. yeah, yeah. So yeah, you know, Kojima and and Jeff had their love fest moment and, and brought them into the fold. Um, some other games that were talked about during the press conference was Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Uh, I, 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 I mean, I weirdly like the character of Tiny Tina. Uh, yeah, nah. I know a lot of people. People wow. do. Did I say it on main on TV. Did I people myself? like that character. People love. What if a kid said a cuss? Which we've never seen that before. But in this new game, the new technology of the PlayStation Five allows us to make a child say a cuss line. <laughs> <laughs> and um, finally, SSD. yeah, I. I didn't realize at first that this was like a separate thing. I thought this was just going to be like a Borderlands Three expansion, like the um, Same, yeah. like Borderlands Two had the, had a Tiny Tina like role playing game thing. Um, mm. This seems so like this an extension like, of that. It's an extension of that it's like its own thing though, and I don't know. Andy it's Sandberg dragon, is there. Right? It's kind of a blood dragon. Yeah, it is. Oh I think yeah, it's like it's okay. probably going to be that scale inside of the Borderlands universe. Andrew's yeah. there. Do you think his wife's right. going to do the music? His wife might do the music. Wanda Sykes is there. This is definitely part of, of yeah. my guy's plan to sort of like be, move into like Hollywood, right? Like he's trying oh, to like, yeah. which, between this and the Borderlands movie, he is so trying to just like make friends with Andy Sandberg. He's, and if you, you mean if Randy Pitchford, by the way, work, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. If, you can, if you see him work, Randy's really close. Like he's so, he's really close. He's almost got his yeah. whole body in the door. He is no. And it's he's, really he's clear that there. everyone likes him. Yeah. Um, no. Think about it this way, though. Will Arnett is one of the voice actors for Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Wonderlands. Okay. Sorry. Randy Pitchford is a magician. Will Arnett played a magician in a Hollywood okay. production. A to B to C All transitive right. property. Randy Pitchford is going to be in season whatever of Arrested Development. Arrested Development. Wow. Okay. Or he oh, has something to talk you... about, you know, because he's like, oh, yeah, you were you played a magician and like I am a magician. So we kind of have that in common. Also, you played a horse man. And I also am terrible to the people around me. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I love you, Randy. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not. Oh, God. And then, <laughs> and then to tie it back to <laughs> then to tie it back to Todrick Hall, black people were arrested and they weren't able to develop. Uh, a whole bunch of things because of all that stuff. So the Arrested Development is still there. That ties back to oh, the that ties and back. Okay. And the music too, and the band oh, also. I, Somebody I mean, put the, the, gone... the black dude gif where I tap my head on the screen, please. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> I like how they did the two dragons do a Kamehameha now, because that's like every, it's, everything, is mar <laughs> everything is Marvel now, right? You just have two big lasers coming at each other. Um, I mean, that was a Harry really Potter cool. thing, right? It's I, I mean it's an anime thing, but then it's, it's an, well, see, I mean Blood yeah. Stallion. I just Borderlands. <laughs> I played through the first two Borderlands games, and I really enjoyed them as co-op shooters, especially like yeah. split split screen because those, that just didn't really exist that much back then. And then the third yeah. one, I got like two hours in and was like, I hate this. I hate this so much. The gunplay <laughs> doesn't feel good. I wonder if Wonderlands. Maybe they'll go with a different approach. Like if they're not just doing Borderlands, it could be more similar to something like the um, the Skaven Vermintide, because if it's a fantasy oh. setting, you might have characters mm. who are using melee weapons more often. And there is some melee combat in Borderlands, but just like not a lot of it. So mm. I I'm open to this being being interesting and fun. Um, yeah. The Borderlands humor is always like a little bit annoying to me, but. Yeah. Um, I don't know. At least they're doing something stupid. Um, yeah. I can kind of appreciate that. Yeah, they, I think when, when. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. 
was just going to say, when they do that Kamehameha thing in this shot here, uh, the guy has, like, a gun in one hand and is, like, shooting a laser beam out of the other hand. And I was, like, thinking about, like, Bioshock and Bioshock 2, where it's like, oh, mm. what if you had, like, magic spells and stuff like that that was, like, less... Oh, so many of the abilities in Borderlands 3 are just, like, here's this cool thing you can do once every 45 minutes because it's on a cooldown. Yeah. Like, what if you got mm. to do, like, more magic spells and throw in, like, actual stuff into the combat? Like... Okay. You know, building on that stuff could be more interesting. One of my problems with Borderlands 2 and more so in 3, but to a lesser degree, 2 is that, like, they doubled and tripled down on what they thought was the humor, which I don't care for, and did not really evolve the gameplay or combat part at all. Like, it, Borderlands yeah. 2 and 3 play almost exactly like Borderlands 1. Yeah. And, like, Borderlands 3 came out six years after Borderlands 2, and it just felt old. Uh, but, yeah. yeah, doing more with that in this could be cool. Also, just, like, just give make it just if it's like supposed to be goofy and fun even more so than borderlands please just like make the abilities goofy and fun don't do like mm -hmm. you have a plus three percent reload speed like that's not that's why i don't like those games because leveling up doesn't there's no power fantasy it's so gradual and boring yeah like mm -hmm. just go for it let me just shoot lasers at shark monsters and dragons all the time that would be fun you know yeah they, they dig too much be... into the into the stats part of what that is as opposed to the actual guns that make it fun parts of it you know what i mean yeah 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 there were a billion um, guns or whatever the fuck in the last one but they all felt the same so what is it they matter? all felt the same hey speaking yeah. of dragons yeah yeah Sp <sighs> speaking of dragons <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> uh, put on the elden ring my liege <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> 10 minutes of unskippable laughter uh, god it was god yeah. i am i just finished dark souls 3 like two weeks ago and i am i was like i was just like okay at the end of dark souls 3 i was like i'm good on this for a while like yeah. these are good games but i'm done now and then they showed this finally and i'm just like you're back in aren't you, you? fucking kidding me it's you got, got me horse, back aren't in you? you got me back you got me you got a horse that you can or like a it's like a Almost it's like, like a deer or, or like ox that you summon underneath you, which like goes one step above the dragon quest or the dragon age thing of like you call your horse and it's behind you, which that right, was yeah. pretty good too. But this is just like it yeah. materializes underneath you. You're like running up walls with it. There's like seem to be a lot more like people around um, in like. They're just sort of like moving around without killing each other, which is interesting. Yeah, like um, wandering caravans of enemies that you can yeah. like raid or something. Like this, like this right part here. right here that yeah. we're seeing on screen. Like the bosses but, um, will kind of just be around as opposed to you yeah. going yeah. into the arena. Like, I am curious how the George R. R. Martin stuff is going to be part of it. I, I have one possibility is that he approved one paragraph in this game and he's like, yeah, you can use my name on it. Um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it could be that there is more like factional stuff because that's something mm -hmm. they already did in Dark Souls, but you know, more more politicking and stuff could be possible, but it just looks like, like, oh, wow, yeah, I got that magic sword yeah, going. Yeah. It's in Dark Souls, right? Because they're just like, you know, it's this like proper noun. The horse. The horse. <laughs> they're called, um, what is it? The, uh, tarnished. The, like, what, the tarnished, which is basically just yeah. like Ashen One or like the Unkindled or whatever. Uh -huh. Um, there's your dragon. But there's your dragon. There's your dragon. But the dragon it looks like it has use, feathered can wings. Use weapon. Yeah. The dragon, the dragon, like, dragon grab, grabs a lightning yeah. spear. This, That's Ganon. I feel like that this lady. is what Godfall wished it was when Godfall came Damn. out. Damn. Um, mm. But yeah, I am just so... I don't know. I'm, I'm I mean, excited. Are, and it's supposed you, to be coming out in it? January. Right. I am pretty excited for it. Like, I mean, I don't know. There's an argument to be made that the Souls games kind of got worse as they went on. Um, sure or like less creatively interesting. And there is some stuff in this game that I'm like, okay, yeah, this is another Gothic castle. Like, okay guys. Right. Um, <laughs> but it does seem to have some different stuff going on. Some different they're, they're vibes. Like, I, people have uh, kind of specifically talked about, I mean, we see so many different monsters in this trailer and yeah. they like all have pretty unique stuff going on. Like this guy at the end here is like a man made of hands, which is like yeah. hands coming out of his pores, basically. Hands um, man. Yeah. <laughs> hands man. And I think somebody was like <laughs> pointing out that that's maybe like a Celtic creature or something like that. So there's a lot of oh. like almost Celtic and Gaelic things going on here a little bit. Oh, I, th I, I mean, like the, the riding the 
the riding the horned beast thing feels kind of like like that as well like english isles that kind of vibe i mean we'll we'll, so, we'll get back um, to a man man made out of hands when we talk about eve's girl mo uh, a little bit later in the, in the show oh my Whoa. god <laughs> but we'll, 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 um, the, the question I have about all of that is, do we feel like Political. this is actually going to hit their, their launch date? I, th I heard that January. Oh, and I was right. like, Ooh. Yeah. Cause it's supposed to be oh. January, right? <sighs> January 21st is January. I think, I think January is a date that assumes a delay. Mm. Right. Mm. You think like, uh, you like, think you, you think... say January so you can put it out in March. Or no, I think no, no, plan... no. January, January ahead, is like sorry. their goal, or like I think they wanted the game to come out this November, but they're gonna yeah. say January. But the odds that we find right. out that this game has been gold since like late yeah. October are really high. Right? Um, yeah, yeah I think so too. Because this why game wouldn't this take down the road so much? Like it's gonna miss holidays then if it comes out in January. Yeah um right so yeah i think january is the delay uh yeah jordo in the chat actually reminds us that imran was telling us that the rumors were that yeah the january was the delayed date um january is a few years money spending time for japan so that there is that uh, that's true but that also um, that assumes it. that anybody's going to be able to buy an xbox or a playstation 5. well this They're will also be PC, you won't it? yeah it, it will be to, on I pc think. but like yeah it, is it on Xbox One and PS4, or is it I actually not don't know. hitting those boxes? I would because if yes, it's not it hitting those is. boxes, yeah. it is. Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. Then it's fine. I was okay, gonna say yeah, this looks, looks like a game that's cross gen. Yeah. 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 Um, um, I the other question that I had about this was, um, now that we know that this game is coming out in that time frame, and like what you were about to, what you said, said Nikki about the. You know availability of consoles in that way do you think that that's going to change people's kind of you know ability not only to, to snag this but do you think that that that's wind up going to be a, a pc kind of really big hit on that side of the fence as opposed to a console one i feel like consoles are probably going to be the ones that everyone's going to be like hey i really wish i can get this but since i can't i'll move over to pc yeah. do you think that's going to be mm -hmm. the case his from has historically been Eh, on PC ports, right? They've had right. Issues, like, They have yeah. been okay, but none of them have they, been like good. The original release of Dark Souls on uh, PC, Dark Souls One on PC, was capped at thirty frames per second. And if yeah. you went into the INI files to make it go faster than that, you would clip through the world anytime you slid down a ladder and um, fall into an abyss and die. Well, right. it depends. You, you know, if you're a speedrunner. <laughs> Like me, Nikki. Uh, <laughs> if I just deposit uh, the souls yeah. at the bottom of the world, then I can get them when I come back. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, video uh, cards are still hard problem. to get. People are people in the chat um, are pointing out that video cards are still hard to get. But I think a lot of people, a lot of current PCs, will be able to run this no problem. I bet. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, I think I if you're know. in a 2080, again, 2080 Ti, you'll be okay at this point. Because, <laughs> but again, like this game has been in development for so long at this point that it's probably right. working with an engine that is fairly reasonable. You know? Yeah, yeah, it's not yeah. An and also, gauge, might as well. within a year of, or not even a year, probably within <laughs> six months of this game coming out on PC, the modding community will have like tuned it so well right. that mm -hmm. it'll run like incredibly. Which, like, you shouldn't like, have to wait on that, but that is absolutely what's going to happen. Yeah, they're going to go wild and, sure. and, and make it make it really I'm, dope really the quick. The prospect of playing a Dark Souls game, like, on release is so mm. weird to me because, like, I played them, like, years later. It almost feels like yeah. it's going to be, like, too much pressure. But, like, yeah. I'm kind of excited. It'll be cool. And I am definitely going to stream this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, we, we, we'll be super yeah. excited for those streams for sure. Yeah. Um, I don't for never play this game and only <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Nikki. Nikki is boycotting early. Uh, I am moving off. Uh, well, really quick before we move off Elden Ring, big get by Keeley though. You know that's that was yeah. a thing that you know a lot of people were excited to see be yeah. on the Summer Games kickoff show, um, and he was really excited about that, which was which was kind of cool to see him be really excited about being able to yeah. bring that to that's the world. That's his in first a way with... like big one. This is the first he... world premiere that I feel like people actually gave a shit about. He had the I mean, original he had Elden pressure. Ring, right? 
he, he did but he, yeah he, he did and that was the reason why everybody was like well, so what's the deal with elden ring he was like couldn't couldn't yeah. get any more information about it so getting yeah. a chance to get that out on, on the stream was was pretty big for for him and the rest of the team over on that side so that was that was a good look for him um moving off of elden ring metal slug tactics i thought was one of yes. my favorite things yeah uh, the kickoff show as a big metal gear fan and metal gear and a metal gear fan. <laughs> a big metal <laughs> slug what if there fan. was a metal gear tactics what would that be like? uh, let slug. me tell you about metal gear acid Barrett. right yeah oh yeah um, oh, okay yeah, so yeah. this is really this is I would not have expected this in like a million years them to bring back yeah. Metal Slug. The last game came out like a decade ago, I think. Um, I love Metal Slug. I've played through all of the original series. Um, they've they put out those collections on on PlayStation mm -hmm. and other consoles a few years ago. Um, and this seems really cool. And it's by Dot Emu, right? Um, yeah. Who mm -hmm. are are seem to be. They're like rescuing these old licenses uh, from states where just like no one is doing anything with them. That yep. said, SNK is like in kind of a weird spot right now where they're oh. owned like in part by this guy who is um, like a horrible, <laughs> like, yeah, it's, it's the uh, Saudi prince, a horrible who man, yeah, got that journalist killed. Right, right. and last he year. allegedly, yeah. I think, allegedly yeah. bought bought them or bought part of them because he just wanted a new King of Fighters game, uh, because he's a huge fan of that and was like, "Hey, please make a new King of Fighters game." Um, <laughs> but also, the one thing I will say about this this series is the Metal Slug characters should look like total sickos. Like, if you look at their portraits mm. from the first couple of games, they look like they're very ill people. And right, now they right, all right. have abs and like beautiful faces and stuff. Like that's wrong. It's incorrect. They should all be fucking like <laughs> trolls and goblins, and they're just like decrepit, weird dudes. Like emaciated people just running around. Yeah, yeah. And stuff. yeah. The the original like concept art for Metal Slug is fucking deranged. It's grim and like <laughs> psychotic, <laughs> and I yeah. love it from like a historical perspective. But it is nothing like what we are seeing, which is like very. 90s anime like it almost looks like i mean daddy mew if i'm not mistaken is a french developer and this almost looks like totally yeah. spies mm -hmm. a lot of the time i mean the style um, is fine it's fine it just is like oh, a I like little it, bit yeah. like yeah they, they put uh, out bangers all the time this they, does I, look I like, like a french but... this looks kind of like a, a an anime inspired french animation production right which, yeah. yeah like 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 a totally spies or something yeah yeah. Um, but the actual game part is all pixel art, like kind of right. not not into the breach. It's more detailed than into the breach, and the maps look bigger. Um, but it does like definitely seem like it's meant to evoke some into the breach because it's you've got like a floating square yeah. grid that you're on, which I guess is kind of Final Fantasy Tactics as well. But uh, like it's obviously drawing from a lot of different tactics games. Like there's some. Um, there's some Final Fantasy Tactics, there's some Advance yeah. Wars in there as well, just by the tank designs, which fits with Metal Slug, because Metal Slug always had those right. big, chunky tanks. Well, like, those sprites look almost... I mean, they're basically, if you took the sprites from Metal Slug and rotated them, like, 45 degrees is what those mm -hmm. sprites are. Like, right. they, they've nailed it um, <sighs> with this stuff. It looks so close, uh, which is awesome, because, like, in the later Metal Slug games, that stuff kind of got sloppy and didn't look so good. So... I, I just love the idea of them like bringing back these these franchises that deserve to be back. Um, yeah. And I'm excited about this, but I don't know. I have to think about the SNK thing more. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's complicated. Yep. I mean, totally, totally I guess this it's an SNK game, but, you know, it's being developed out externally by a French developer. So, yeah, it's, it's weird. That's definitely going to be a conscience versus, you know fun particular kind of conversation internally for sure for a lot of people who who have that information yeah. now um jurassic world evolution 2 did anybody really about <laughs> this? I'm I excited. Thought, okay. I'm wait can i just tell you about <laughs> yeah when jeff came out when jeff goldblum was like uh, well i'm gonna uh, <laughs> tell you about this newest game <laughs> and uh you're gonna have to control chaos in this one and i was like <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog 2, Chaos Control. <laughs> uh, and chaos then Control. Was, it was so obviously not that. Um, it was just yeah. like, oh no, he's just talking about Chaos Theory because of fucking Jurassic Park. I don't fucking care. 
So that, <laughs> I mean, I was going in with like different expectations. So I was pretty sour, but like, I did not play the first one of these. Um, yeah. Did any of y'all? I did. No. Black, well, I reviewed it. Blackjack Attack says uh, that it felt like Jeff Goldblum was paid for a cameo. In that time. <laughs> yes. <And> about... <laughs> he has no yeah, idea what he's talking about this here. entire thing. None. Like, no. None. Um, but, but he did do the VO. I think he does know because he did do the VO in the first game. And the yeah, only reason I, I know this is because I only VO. know. Well, I guess I know. Steven, now that I know that you've played it, I know two human beings who are alive on this globe who have played it. It's you and my friend Emily in Australia, and it's the only game she ever fucking talked about, and that's how I know it was okay at least. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's it's like a roller coaster tycoon. It's like a, you build a yeah. theme park. You build your own Jurassic Park, but it's all Jurassic World themed because it's Jurassic World. Um, yeah. So Bryce Dallas Howard is in it for about 10 seconds, but it's very funny because all the Hollywood actors in it are like, they do like six lines in the tutorial that don't feel like they are tonally connected to one another whatsoever, and then they never show up again. So you can tell exactly how long mm. that they had them in the booth to record on that yeah. one. Mm. Um, and then BD Wong Lots of VO from BD Wong in mm. in that one. Um, it's taking a break from BD Mr. Robot. Yeah, totally. Um, to come tell you to fucking murder guests in your park because that's just like a major <laughs> yeah. mechanic in that game. It's just like, hey, let the let the dinosaurs run loose and we eat a bunch of people out. so we can collect data. Yeah, let them we hang out to, so we yeah. can collect. We need the raptors to, to farm XP. Please kill some guys. Yeah. Let the raptors kill some uh, guys totally. to gain to learn new moves. Um, the game mm. is called Jurassic Park Evolution. What's it called? Jurassic World Evolution Zone. Evolution Two. Six. Evolution Two. Evolution. Yeah. World of. It's from the magic it's device. From the, yeah, that's it. It's a wizard DNA. It's from the folks who made um, Planet Coaster. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. like from Frontier. So Frontier, they're good yeah. at those games. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's, it looks Definitely. like it looks like one of these. Yeah, it looks totally. like one of them. <laughs> you like dinosaurs? It looks like one of those. Dinos. Yeah, it's a dinosaur themed one of those. That's sure. a dinosaur. I've got dino DNA. I broke my leg. I got and then dino they got a DNA. Dinosaur bone. <laughs> the doctor said I got dino DNA. <laughs> <laughs> what else we got? <laughs> what else I'm, 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 I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Sorry, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, yeah. No, no, no. I wish I had hit that on my Go XLR. Really, really <laughs> yeah, can I? Here, just I'll. Uh, Digitally pass it. Yeah, yeah. Pl please. Rotate thank it you. through the web. Working? Yeah, thank yeah. you. Um, Chicory, which I thought was um, gorgeous yeah. and and beautiful, uh, that had no dinosaurs in it. Chicory, a colorful colorful tale from our folks uh, over at um, Fingy. Yes, Fingy. Yes, the Fingy crew. Uh, love this game. It looks super super cool. Uh, yeah. You're painting a lot, uh, painting the world, and kind of go ahead. Yeah, you can uh, read Natalie's uh, incredible piece on, let me check my notes one more time. It says right here, fanbite.com is going to be your mm. source of uh, chicory information. And it also says, it also says that we did a stream for the game yesterday or on Friday. I'm what? not sure, but we did do yes, a stream there is and it a is on stream. YouTube. Yeah. Um, Nikki, so yes, you can watch uh, John play the, are you fuck, you're lying to me right now. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Saturday? Yeah. Yeah. What the f Three oh, more wow. days of this, Nikki. Yeah, it's Saturday, Nikki. Three more days of the jokey. Um, uh, Chicory looks cool, though. I'm going to play it. It's already out. Um, is it out? Out? Is it like. Yeah, it, it was out, on, out. Yeah, it was out yesterday. Yeah. Um, oh, it's on personal computer, that. PlayStation 4 and 5. It's like nice. speaking Thunder of. Trail? um. Uh, it's like a dog. It's like a dog paints things. It's like a you know Smeargle, the Pokemon. It's oh, like yeah, what if there's yeah, yeah. a whole game where you're a Smeargle? That's cool. Um, Smeargle. Finally. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> I mean, that's what that's what I was hoping for. Um. Uh. Let me see. Speaking Salt of games with beautiful like aesthetics, Sable. Yeah. We didn't really get oh, like yeah. anything new. There was just like that song that someone sang about Sable, but like the more I see of that game, like I. That game was totally off my radar until like a few days ago. Um, mm. But it looks a lot like this indie game from like, I don't know, like six or seven years ago called Zenith, which mm. is about uh, riding around on rollerblades through the desert um, and it rules. So like, I'm pretty hyped for this. And they seem to be doing the like the, um, the frame, like the different animation speeds, 
like oh, Spider Verse did. Yeah. Oh, With, well, like sure. animating, like on the you know, like on the ones and twos, not the ones, ones and twos, threes and fours. Like the, yeah, like. Um, like the main character seems to animate at fewer frames per second than like the rest of the world, which gives it like this very like impactful feel. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'm excited to see more games playing around with that kind of animation style, like not just being like, oh, it's cartoony, but like let's play with with right. animation speed and frame rate to convey different feelings. Um, yeah, so I'm I see what this. you're talking about now. Um, yeah, it would. Yeah, it's it's my super cool. Yeah, my favorite part about that technique, and I honestly would love if they just completely fucking ripped it is that miles in the beginning of that movie miles's frame rate is always lower mm -hmm. than every single yeah. other person he interacts with when he's spider-man because he has no fucking clue what he's doing yeah but by the yeah. time the movie ends he's running at the correct frame rate and it would be incredible if the frame rate on your main character as you leveled up or whatever oh, became right, yeah. more correct um that's cool that would be yeah. an incredible vibe we have some Sable stuff yeah. uh, in the work, so keep an eye out for that. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I'm excited, yeah. Um, cool. Was Chivalry 2 yesterday? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah, and that kid just is out? They're just like, hey, we did yes. a second yep. one. The first one they came out like, like a decade codes. ago. Yeah. Um, oh, they did? Well, yeah. send me one, because I want to try one. it. Because um, <laughs> oh, sure. when this came out, yeah, I was just like, that. or when I saw this, I was like, wait, isn't this, isn't this just Mordhau? Mordhau? Um, and mm -hmm. Mordhau is just actually a much more detailed version of chivalry. So yeah. I was reading some stuff about this, and it f seems like it's much more like of a goofy yeah. arcade experience than Mordhau, um, which sounds fun, honestly. <laughs> just like running around, like yeah. hitting dudes with swords and stuff, and making their heads fly off, and then throwing their heads at other <laughs> yeah. people. Like I, was I actually say do want to try yeah, it. Happened. It yeah, seems like it would, be, that is... would be a fun stream game. Yeah, Chivalry <laughs> is like, when I think about like the history of video games, YouTube, like popping the fuck off. Yeah. Uh, I was about to say Chicory. Chivalry is one of the games immediately after Minecraft that like mm. kind of went for a while. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm excited. I've watched a lot of the video game uh, Chivalry, so I'm excited to, to chop some guys' arms and stuff off. If Love nothing it. else, we'll get some really good highlight reel clips and we already exactly. have that. some really yeah. good highlight yeah. clips from this yeah. game. Um, there were a couple more games from the kickoff show that I want to talk about really quickly, kind of burn through them so we can get to yeah. the Gorilla Collective. Um, <clears throat> Endless Dungeon, I'm really excited about. I think that game is going to be pretty pretty fun and, and awesome. Anyone else have thoughts on Endless Dungeon? I like the Endless it. Games. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm a big fan of Endless Legend and Endless Space, which are the 4X games, like civilization style games that are set in the same universe. And this is like yep. such a huge visual and tonal departure from those, which are fairly serious. Though they they have a level of goofiness. Endless Space, one of the factions you can play as, like one of the one of the space uh, civilizations, is just called the Horatio because it's all clones of this one guy named Horatio. So like, uh, <laughs> and he's just like. He was, was just a guy who was just like, I'm the most beautiful, cool person in the universe. The entire, like, species should just be me, should just be Horatio. So they're just all Horatios. And, like, a game that maybe seems like it's leaning a little bit harder into that element of the Endless universe is is kind of cool. But at the same time, it just looks like a fun dungeon crawler at the same time. Yeah. Like a unique art style. Yeah. The reason I'm excited about it is for the thing Steven just did, which is tell me an incredibly fun fact about this video right. game series that I otherwise would literally never yeah. know anything about. And that's so why Steven is the best. <laughs> the so only endless game I've played Thanks. is when Sega was releasing those like anniversary games a while ago, and they were like, oh, uh, we've remade Fantasy Zone, but it's Endless Fantasy Zone or whatever. Whoa. Um, right, yeah. I played, right. I played that for five minutes, but it sounds cool. Yeah, Steven, whenever you tell me about these games, I'm like, oh, that sounds really cool. Yeah. And then I'm just yeah. like, wait, I should. Uh, I'm never gonna play this. Am I? Exactly. I feel like that's true of like every 4X game, though, just because I get sucked way into too into them, and I just like hearing other people's stories. But also, just like, wow, there are a lot of overhead action games this year, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. When, is, like, when did that happen? When did they start coming back? Bastion. <laughs> Bastion, but like. Hades, Hades, but like yeah, yeah, before Hades, yeah, yeah. I mean, enter enter the Gungeon would have been like yeah. the, the last. Oh, and um, before that, it was what's it called? Um, Nuclear Throne. Nuclear so, Throne, yeah. Oh, right, right, right. 
but yeah, they are definitely be, and I guess, you know, things like, um, hyper light as well. Right. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, Yeah. Different vibe, but yeah. Yeah. Binding of Isaac. Yeah. But there are so many this year. I'm like kind of getting sick of them. (laughs) A little bit too. I'm, I'm with you on that merit. Is that like becoming the new pixel art Metroidvania? Like the new Dead Cells? Kind of, kind yeah. Of. Just like the top-down yeah. roguelite, like do a run through a dungeon and hit guys. And it's like, you have to give me something beyond that for me to be really into this because like I've played versions of this that are so good at this point that like, I don't know. You got to have something else there, you know? Yeah, right. for sure. Uh, uh, we are you moved- burn through? burn through some yeah yeah, yeah we're, we're burning through. through last thing i wanted to say was uh evil dead the game looks like the better version of final Fi- uh the friday the 13th game uh mm. in terms of engine and everything else which i thought was actually pretty pretty interesting um we have on screen right now where if you're listening to this in audio form we're going to talk about it because it's on the screen in the video form so you should definitely be coming and checking us out at twitch.tv slash to see these live if you're listening to the recaps uh, make sure you're checking all that stuff out on the podcast feeds as well. Um, what do we have up now? I think this is Wizard with a Gun. Is, Wizard is with a Gun. Not? Incredible Wizard name with a for a gun video game. Looked super cool. I think this was a part of the Devolver mm-hmm. uh, uh, showcase. The what was what did they call it this year? <laughs> Which was so good. Fucking uh, Devolver fine. Max Plus something. Max max plus conference which was really really good this year again devolver for at least i will say for myself i i love their just like no fucks given humor uh in the way that they kind of go at it uh this feels talking about that kind of top down isometric uh-huh. uh mm-hmm. kind of bastion kind what of, if kind dark of gameplay what stuff. if oh fuck what's that game called what if don't starve but don't starve with yeah gun. with a gun yeah um, it's yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I do I, gotta I say, it's a good name. At I, least. I, I do gotta say, shouts out to little wizards um, with two eyes poking out of like an infinite void underneath a big mm. hat. Gotta be my favorite genders. Yeah. Um, it's yeah, I mean, you got VV, you got VV, you got, or- I mean, is Orko kind of like the original of that? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. First, totally I mean, that's like the first that. one I remember. Uh, I mean, I guess actually, like, um, a Jawa is. These are just Jawas. That's a Jawa. Wow, Jawas. they're yeah. all just Jawas. They're all just Jawas. Damn, it's always <laughs> been Jawa. Vv <laughs> from Final Jawa. Fantasy has Mick fucking lost it. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> from, from the Devolver Conference, what is that game that is only coming physically? Oh, I bought that, that. I just bought where that. the open where the opening line is. Uh, what is it? Fuck! What is the line? It's like a demon bit my wife or something. Yeah, a demon kiss um, my oh. wife or something. A demon, a demon kiss my yeah. wife. Um, an incredible, incredible opening line to a video game. Um, yeah, yeah, it was it was very very good. I mean, some of the games they talked about in the rundown for Devolver and Keep Me Keep Me Honest team, uh, yeah. Demon Throttle, uh, which looked pretty rad. I just want to ask, actually, really quick, what do you, because I, I went ahead and pre-ordered it just because I really like Gata Roboto, and I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't know, whatever, it's fine. Um, what do you, what do you think of that physical only thing? Because I think it's funny. You know, a lot of, a lot of people are upset. I think it is <laughs> funny. Like, it's, it's a really, like, weird thing to do in 2021, and I kind of admire just the stunt yeah. of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you got to. There's it's, so it's many a strange fucking, move. So many games like that and so many indie mm-hmm. games, so many pixel art games come out now. Like, honestly, I just appreciate them doing something to make something stand out from the crowd because we saw sure. so many things over this like last two days that like I couldn't tell you 90% of what we saw. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For um, sure. For sure. For sure. Hey, Phantom what game of- is this on the screen? Because I'm this. Oh, this yeah. Shit. It's I like what so if we made this. we made the whole game out of the Minecraft parkour map, except mm-hmm. um, <laughs> you're running it alone, and the ghosts that you see are other people who have also run the course. And yeah. once one person finishes it, the course goes away forever. So only one that. person will oh, have finished wow. every single map, or will have finished that map. And That's basically, cool. you're all racing to 
finish the map first and only. Um, it's I like wonder, Spelunky yeah, Trackmania. Yes, kind exactly. Of, sort yeah. Of. yeah. The um, thing that I'm actually has, really interested about. Go ahead, I'm sorry, Nikki. Oh no, no, I was gonna say it looks like it has a really fun and good looking vibe. It's like Indiana Jones cross that fucking game with the good black hair that we'll never see because Gabe killed it. What's it called? The Egypt one? Oh, you know in the Valley about. of the Gods. In the Valley of the Gods. Oh, it looks like yeah. that plus oh, Indiana Jones right. a little bit, um, which is cool, but. Yeah, I'm I'm really excited about this. I mean, this looks like a Nickelodeon uh, game show was made into a video yes. game, which is like a very yep. good idea. Yeah, this is very much Legends of the Hidden Temple for sure. Yeah. Uh, the thing I'm actually really interested about, besides the thing that Nikki just talked about in terms of the gameplay mechanic of one person finishing each each level, is do you get some kind of kudos for that? Like, is there a thing where in whatever the kind of leaderboards would be, is like, hey, I finished all of these rounds. Uh, yeah. to kind of give yourself that kind of pat on the back uh, across I, the I imagine they'll do something yeah. like have like a, a win counter or like a I don't know replays or, or some some like aesthetic thing or something to, yeah, to mark I that. wonder since the whole thing is proc gen this might be giving <laughs> them an idea but like <laughs> it would be really cool if when you were searching for maps you could basically search by tile type so like if you wanted a very spiky map where like the most of the obstacles are a bunch of spikes that are going to try to hit you, you could probably sort by spike. And then mm. like you could say, I've completed 150 spike levels of like varying mm. difficulties. Um, Mario Maker has that filtering system a little bit. That would yeah. be really smart. If, if we could also like, if I could also give them an idea real quick for the Demon's Souls remake, added mm -hmm. a thing where when you go to the top of the nexus which is like the hub world in demon souls right there they added like a thing where you walk up to like a big statue and then there's just like these nine statues all standing next to each other and then it's just like here's 500 names of players who have like got the most invasion kills or have got the mm. most like the highest soul yeah. level or whatever like having something physical in the world like some kind of physical monument that shows off your name would be really really neat yeah, I think they should be... send you a bumper sticker that says, I completed yeah. 150 spike levels in Phantom <laughs> <of this." laughs> If they wanted to go really spicy, if they wanted to go really spicy, you know, like in Spelunky where you have the daily challenge, what if mm. the game was only that? And basically, Wait, you know, there's only it, one map a day. You can only there's only one oh, map, and as soon as, wow. as, soon as someone funny. finishes it, it would be so bad. as soon as someone finishes it, it then refreshes and gives another map. That would be uh, spicy. That would rule. Um, that we would have, be super we're, cool. Yeah, we're streaming these live on Twitch. So if you're listening to this on the 13th and you would like to hang out with us live, you can do that at 6.30 Pacific time over on twitch.television slash fanbyte. Earlier, a couple minutes ago, we got uh, two channel point redemptions. Uh, someone asked, uh, what's it? Uh, Osfrikat? No one's quite sure. Um, requested a Bev check. I've got a Golden Road pineapple cart. What's everybody else drinking? Agua. Water. I'm drinking water. I'm I'm we water. Tonight. Sorry, C3. Yeah. Water squad, yeah. Yeah. You know what has water in know. it? Beer. My grandma didn't drink water. <laughs> She's fine. <laughs> Did you know I mean, that two hundred yeah, years I mean, ago? Why do we why do we drink water now? No one used to drink water. No, it's exactly. all, all the like, water. If you're a man, why are you drinking water? Like, why are you drinking yeah. water? Like 200 <laughs> years ago, the average American drank less, drank 30% more alcohol mm. than what they do now. Yeah. And I think <laughs> that like men are just getting, you know, too effeminate over time and drinking mm. by drinking yeah. less. They, they need to have more exactly. alcohol in their blood to, to make their <laughs> offspring stronger. No, right. I said vapor I mean... is almost a beverage, and I guess that's true. So I've got, <laughs> got that um, going for We me. also I had mean... a random prediction. Oh, what's that? We got an E3 prediction. Yeah. Uh, I Can't have mine. Uh, oh, uh, Nintendo's well... going to release a set of clear Joy-Con. That's my random E3 wow. prediction. Wow. Oh, okay. No doubt. Um, I, 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 got, I mean, I appreciate I'm... that. Wait, I got to find out who owns something really quick before I'm going <laughs> to... Um, <laughs> uh, high beats asks clear purple. No, I think it's going to be clear, clear, like a clear, like clear, clear, clear. Like yeah, like ever clear. Is that what that okay. is? Okay, yeah. oh, liquor. I, yeah. I think we're going to get a chameleon. I think we're going to get chameleon twist on the switch. Um, Whoa. chameleon twist one and two oh. are going to just go Whoa. up on 
Wow. The Switch store. Remastered or are they just going to be uh, uh, basically just as they are? It's going to be a collection yeah. maybe with both of them <laughs> with like no real additional shit. Just like everyone yeah. loves these games and like I will oh, buy it. <laughs> absolutely. Like only um, JPEGs of only the sides of the manuals and not the backs. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think that uh, um, at least two of the things that they showed nothing of at that Gearbox event that I watched today are going to show up in greater detail at a bigger event later on this week. I think they're mm. going to show Tiny Tina's Wonderlands at like Sony or something or whatever is happening. Microsoft, yeah, Sony's possible. not here. Sony's not here. I um, think that um, Microsoft is going to bring back a crowd-based game one favorite. Versus one hundred is coming back, baby. <laughs> Fusion Frenzy is coming back. Fusion Frenzy, Fusion Frenzy baby. Fusion Frenzy. There is, is, literally, there is literally never been a better time for Microsoft to, to do just one versus make 100. Fusion Frenzy. Well, mm -hmm. either make do one versus one hundred or do Fusion Frenzy. It's fucking fall, guys. No, it, yeah, it, it, it kind of is. Yeah, it, like you can't it, do Fusion Frenzy do... anymore. You Why? can. It's Bill Gates' favorite. Why? No, it's Bill Gates' favorite video game. Ah! You don't want to invite that conversation. Oh. But we didn't know that yeah. Bill was like that. Reason frenzy when Phil is canceled. said that it was okay. No, oh, Phil already said. It. Yeah. Phil already approved it, so it has to come out. I let me, let me wrangle wrangle you all in real quick. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna move over to Death's, Death's Door, which I think is gorgeous. I think what Death's Door it looks super what cool. Is this? It's the bird. It's Imran the bird. Is this for us. What? Imran. Yeah, Imran. Why did I, why did I know is it a top-down action game? It is a top-down action game. It is also a wow. top-down action game. I, I think it looks really pretty. It looks it looks very, very cool. Can uh, we get some footage uh, of what it? That game is going to wind up being. Yeah, I actually want to play that we, real we bad. Footage? You're like a little um, bird guy. Maybe. It's like Grim Fandango. If Grim Fandango was a top-down Dark Souls and you were a bird we, we don't instead have, of a We don't have footage of this. Yeah, that's no why I'm describing it for you. Oh, oh you're it's, you're it's, painting I'm, me I'm a word picture. My arm. This see. is a word picture. I'm sort of like a wordsmith. Um, I see. Much oh, like a so rock. You're doing this just for the podcast like, audience, huh? Yeah, yes. for people who want to like listen to us talk instead of like watch us. No, talk. we don't need it. It's fine. Um, no, I did such I a saw, good job. I saw you. I, try, I saw you trying to do that segue though. That was great. Should we yeah, do yeah, segue in, into Ubisoft? Yes. Yeah. yeah let's. Yeah, talk we're gonna about we're gonna move over to Ubi. Uh, Ubi had a pretty interesting show. Um, Ubisoft Forward was the showcase that they wanted to give us because they didn't have a lot to show. <laughs> I feel like they had some things, but they didn't have a lot of stuff to actually give us. I don't know. In that, in that space. I, yeah. Do you I, think? It's funny. Okay. I mean, it's funny because like we, when we were splitting these up, I was like, yeah, yeah. I'll do Ubisoft. I'll take one. You know what? I'm a, I'm a generous person. I'll sit in the Ubisoft <laughs> stream and be like, wow, Far Cry, wow, Ghost Recon. This impressed me like more than I was expecting to. And I think I came away from that stream more positive than anyone else on it. Um, okay. Just because they dropped a bunch of things that I was like, this actually looks like a different thing from what they do, which is what like were your, What were your favorites? Like what? Yeah, what I mean, your favorites? like Rider Republic, like might be. Yeah the closest thing I will ever get to Wii Sports Resort MMO. Uh, mm. And I am really excited about that. Like it's any MMO where you're not just shooting guys. Like I love Destiny, right? And I love like, you know, other MMOs where you're just like, you know, casting magic spells and bullshit like that. But like, this is just like, what if you were all hanging out with your friends, but like you had a rocket pack and you were just racing yeah. through a canyon. <laughs> like it's the most dangerous thing you could possibly do. Um, <laughs> That was this the main from... thing, and then the rabbits game looked pretty cool too. Yeah. But, um, um, I'm excited about Riders Republic because also it's from the team that made Steep, which is yeah. basically this, except it's cold instead of hot out. Yeah. So it's skiing yeah. right. and snowboarding, which is in this game, which I wasn't expecting. But I guess they were like, we have the file, we have snowboard dot folder mm -hmm. over here we can just drag yeah. it we can, yeah we can just drag it in here and we'll have <laughs> snowboarding in yeah. the game um, the thing is that like uh, steve looks that. so steve was like so like steve was funny but i don't know that it was necessarily intentionally funny a lot of the time and like it intentionally wasn't. ridiculous it the, like it had a button where that would just you would press the button and you would just fall over immediately yeah. which is very good <laughs> like but like GTA this seems like it's yeah exactly 
And this seems like it's leaning way harder into that. They like said, okay, what's the thing that everybody clipped on Twitch of our last game? Like, what if we just made yeah. an entire video game that was like fun like that? Yeah, it's it yeah. really yeah, does yeah, yeah. feel like the there's a lot of trials energy in here. Yeah, um, very. Especially because nice. the first person stuff, though. Oh my yeah. god, this god, bike is so fucking nuts. Unreal. Put it in VR. Um, Put it in VR. Oh, oh man! Yeah, um, I'll yeah I'll that get a would be fan. Brilliant. And I'll just turn the fan oh my on God. and put it in front of me, <laughs> and I'll wear the VR helmet. That'll be great. You're gonna make uh, it too real for your brain, and then you'll die in real life. Yeah. <laughs> Let's. Let's 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 flip this this one and do it this way. We'll run down the games that were shown and then talk about the things we cared about the most. Yeah, sure. That sounds deal, good. Deal, deal. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Rainbow Six Quarantine uh, is now Rainbow Six Extraction, uh, as you said for obvious reasons because too soon, too soon. Why? Uh, huh? Why? Why though? Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean because uplift your own. That's the reason why, Nikki. Oh, uh, uplift your own. Gotcha. Uplift your own. Uh, that's the reason why Rocksmith Plus was announced. Uh, alongside that, that of course, than I thought it was going to. Uh, yeah, it Rainbow is. It is interesting. Rocksmith. I, uh, Rocksmith. Rocksmith. Did, does anyone yeah. wait? So, do you want to talk about everything first and then go back to things, or I was just going to go we... down the list and then go back to talk oh. about the ones. That we all right, yeah. Let's just, oh, oh, let's just name them yeah, all and then we'll. Yeah, yeah and and then we'll dig in a little bit, a little bit deeper. Uh, Trackmania, uh, they got some more stuff in there. Uh, Just Dance got another release in terms of DLC. Uh, more uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla DLC as well. And plus they're getting another Discovery Tour, which I think is actually really interesting, mm. which, which they did from the previous game. Uh, TV show, or whatever, no. Um, Werewolf Within? Got a film adaptation? Werewolves what is that? Within. Yeah. Werewolves Within? We can, we'll talk okay. about it. We'll talk about it. Uh, uh, new Far Cry 6 trailer that had the worst Spanish I've seen in a while. Uh, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon uh, was also announced within that grouping. Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope, which I think was the thing that was the biggest uh, splash of the, of the conference. And Avatar Frontiers of Pandora is a game. It's a thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. What's the what's the games that you all had the most excitement about or had the most thoughts about uh, from Let the list? Let me hit Avatar share? really, please. Really fast. In the face, please. We have an extremely well connected news department here at fanbyte.com. Um, and uh, we were talking about stuff that was going to happen uh, in the future. And uh, this game came up. And the way it was written to me just said avatar and i said oh the last airbender and then i was told no <laughs> no the, blue people. Um, oh, and I said, the hair the all hair right listen yeah. ang is kind of blue when his tattoos okay. glow in the avatar all state right. so you could have yeah. been correct it's just i know people who, who like avatar i know people That's who like why? avatar are they okay i don't believe that uh, that's a good question. No, I mean, I know people who actually do unironically like Avatar. And like, I talked to a friend of mine who loves Avatar, who said that he's going to break his no Ubisoft games policy for this. So, wow. Oh. I don't know. Okay. I mean, I have no idea what it is. And it's so weird that they're still trying to make this a franchise, despite the fact that the only movie in it came out over 10 years ago. There is a whole even born world yet. for it. <laughs> No, I actually wasn't even born for it. Um, <laughs> there's a whole land or like expansion planned for it at Walt mm-hmm. Disney World. The yeah. movie came out in 2010? Nine. Ish? 2009. Yeah. So there are 12 year olds who are at Disneyland who are walking up to this thing that has a bunch of blue people around it and they're asking their parents, hey, what, what is this? Like I know Mickey. Oh, uh, it's like Yondu. And- Mom, that's like Yondu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your daddy. Mom. Mom, it's like that movie where he's like with Pac-Man. <laughs> Sorry? Just, just wild. Um let's uh, talk about real things. I'll talk about real stuff. Oh real wait, stuff, hold like- on. Actually, we need to but we need to before before we move on, we have to yes. get on film 
the answer to this question. And we're all going to go around and answer. Okay. Does this movie, does Avatar 2 come out before or after this game? After. Oh, way after. 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 Before, I'm going to say before. Yep. I think I'm also going to say before. I think um, this comes out before, before the movie? No, no, no. The, yeah. game, the, the movie comes out first. Oh, no. Uh, uh, okay, so I think no. we're all confused. I think the game comes out before the second movie. Yes, I agree. I think the game... Uh, I'm going to recuse... Or not recuse. I'm going to recant what I said before because I think that the game will be done before the movie, but they will keep holding uh, it back and, and pushing wow. it back to coincide so, with the release of the movie. I, I miss when we used to have that weird thing of like movies and games like being delayed and then like catching up and then like mm -hmm. releasing without the actual actor's face in it because they didn't have the rights or whatever. Like, I think that happened with the Planet <laughs> of the Apes game and movie. Mm -hmm. I kind of wish that happened with uh, with this because that would be really fun. Yeah. Sorry, there was uh, a Planet of the Apes game? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Colin, Colin uh, one of our guides writers was like, hey, remember King Kong for the Xbox 360? And that is yep. that's 360 the immediate title. vibe. Yeah, that is the immediate vibe that I got from this. Um, huh. Which yeah. is probably what, not what they want. Here, here's a good question: What sells more copies, this or Godfall? Ooh, I mean, this on brand recognition it's gotta be this. Yeah, it's a damn it's shame. Gotta be this. Oh, look. Fools, <laughs> <also. Fools. laughs> what other what other games were you excited about from the uh, from the conference? Uh, Dylan, uh, I mean, not Dylan, uh, Stephen, <laughs> Dylan. <laughs> um. Uh, um, the games that I was excited about, or you know, you had, uh, a, you had a thought about. We ha we have notes. I can see what you were thinking when you wrote it. So I can, yeah, I see you have I thoughts mean, about multiple things that happen. I had a lot of thoughts about Rainbow Six Extraction. Um, mm, I guess yeah. which was I mostly didn't... that. Like, sorry. No, no, no. Yeah. Um, which was mostly just like every that time I hear about Rainbow Six. Siege, which this is a spin-off of, I guess. I get I think it's the same characters yeah. in like in a parallel universe. Um mm -hmm. every time I love this, uh we're seeing the footage here where it says, that's a grunt, and it just shows like this weird zombie <laughs> man, <laughs> this naked grunt. fucking Graylian. Uh mm -hmm. but the, every time I hear people talk about it, I know people fucking love that game. I've tried to play it, and it feels impenetrable to me. It feels like a MOBA, but in first person, so even harder to parse. Mm. And mm. People talk about how like, oh, it's like a G.I. Joe video game at this point because all the different characters are like, oh, this is the one that's like all about like cool boat powers. And this one's like the hacker yeah. and this one can do this. Yep. And it's just like this game. I don't get any of that because they're all just wearing yellow hazmat suits. They all look identical mm. to me. There's no color. The enemy designs are all just like weird gray blob men. Like I don't like this seems so featureless to me in a way that it's just like the featureless, not in the sense that it doesn't have enough stuff, but featureless in the sense that it just like. I don't know what this is trying to evoke to me other than like, I guess zombies mode from Call of Duty is popular and they made an entire game yeah. of that. I, I mean, when we first started to look at it, we we had that conversation of, does this feel like it's just XCOM with a, yeah. you know, in the cool. world of, of uh, Rainbow Six in that way. Mm -hmm. huh. And I think, I think one of the things they talked about during the conference was that one of your objectives is to basically, you know, pull your team out from these from these places so people who are the operators within the rainbow six uh world you're supposed to be kind of saving them from all these monsters and if you do okay. then you then get to kind of use them within uh the world uh so you can use all the powers that they have in the world but you're right about the kind of aesthetic too like i can't tell who's who unless that dude pulled out a sledgehammer so then i'm like oh right. i know who that is because of the sledgehammer um, right I, I do wonder what they're going to do to kind of fix that. Nikki, you were, you were about to say something on the other end. Oh, I was, I just was trying to consider whether or not I thought that like the relative like clinic, this game looks clinical in a way. Right. That is, like, mm. That's the way to really put it. Really yeah. unsettling. Sterile. But I would, yeah, but I would also describe Rainbow Six Siege as looking like that, even though it is mm -hmm. in real settings. So like, I get where like the vibe comes from, but I do think it fits this better than it does mm. Siege. Um, oh, I like okay. don't have like qualms about the way that this game looks because it feels like it's supposed to be set in a place where shit yeah. went really bad. 
mm-hmm. but like science was done here at some point. So, so they used to do science. <laughs> used to do science. I feel like <laughs> so much of this game is going to depend on like the loop because yeah. um, I feel like we didn't get a great idea of what it is. Like, right. because uh, it could be a left for dead where it's just like, Hey, there's a campaign you're doing it. I really don't think that's what it is though. Like it sounds like there is some kind of progression system because you're like rescuing people. And there's like a hint that like, maybe there's permadeath of some kind in this where you could lose mm-hmm. characters. Um, mm-hmm. So whether it'd be like a shared campaign that you do with like your friends, like that could be cool. I mean, like, yeah. I don't know. I'm always curious about PVE co-op experiences because if they're done well, they can be incredible, but it just takes a lot of work to like make them compelling, I feel like. And yeah. um, I don't have immediate buy-in. Like there are a lot of people who are just going to be like, well, I have buy-in on Siege already. So of course I'm going to play this. I don't have that. So like basically what are they doing to bring me into this world as someone who plays like Destiny and stuff? Um, and it's going to depend, I think, on like what the, the loop structure is like. Yeah. For the, yeah. From what little uh, from... they... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say that like... From what little they described of the loot, what they showed was mostly like, here's a bunch of like gray goo monsters. But what Mm -hmm. they described sounded a lot to me like what zombies mode in Call of Duty has become over the years, Mm -hmm. where it's a lot of like, you start in one locate, like there's a map, right? Like you, you pick a map and then you start in one small location and then that location opens up and you get to go through a door and then go into the next like tier of area where there are harder right. enemies but also better gear and then you have yeah. to decide in this one hence the extraction part like do you extract it tier one do you extract it tier two blah 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 and then you can get to like some, maybe some kind of like core thing where you fight a boss so, or pull out and and when you do like extract does that you get stuff that's going to transfer over to like your you get experience or whatever like i mean in, what they, you're talking about zombies right is that how that yeah. game works okay that's so more progress like stuff though. So there's like there's sort of yeah. like a push your luck element of like how far into this zone can you go? Um, totally. Some of that die, combined with you, like, the that character's gone or whatever. whatever. Yeah. Right, and they, and they talked about the kind of you know uh, what you kind of talked to that merit about the the connective tissue between the two games, and one of those was that there will be crossover uh, content so that you'll get stuff in both games if you play both games. Uh, across oh. those two, which 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 will be really interesting to see how that all kind of loops itself around, uh, to see what those things are going to wind up being. That used to just be operators because the skins in Rainbow Six aren't great, uh, so it will be really cool to see what they wind up doing here with them looking so generic in this kind of world. Um, yeah. Last couple of things on Ubi. Uh, I just lost my place on that thing. Uh, Mario Rocks plus Rabbids. Oh, um, yeah, Rabbids. Rocksmith looks great. Yeah, Rocksmith Rabbids. does look really cool. I think it's like an extremely interesting idea. I think them turning it into a subscription service and then like pretending that it is no longer a video game, but instead yeah. a tool that you use to learn mm-hmm. how to play the guitar is pretty interesting. Um, because I feel like Ubisoft's whole vibe is that like we want to make everything, which is why they talked about their fucking movies, they make a good television program um on apple tv plus and like that feels like i'm going to see ads for it on tiktok in six weeks yeah that are oh, like sure. just get with like guitar teenage influencers and there will be literally no indication that it is made by the video game company ubisoft um so i think it's like from a business perspective i think it's interesting also i would like to learn how to play the guitar so if this does this for me yeah that would be cool Hey, yeah, people are bringing up in the chat the weirdness of like how they framed all this stuff when they were like a, a Ubisoft original. Like mm. that's like their oh, new right. branding is like we we made this. It's not yeah um, yeah it's real. It's a I thing that, that we made. It's not licensed. Yeah. A Ubisoft game. Also, apparently, it is Ubi, um, not <laughs> Ubi. But I feel like yeah, it's, it's sure. No one knows. No one's quite point. sure. Um, I think- Ubi. Yeah, UB, UB. 
UB, UB. I think the, the the weirdest thing to me the, under the like a Ubisoft original thing. There's a couple of weird ones like they they call uh, Trackmania a Ubisoft original. They bought that studio. That studio made Trackmania right. before Ubisoft <laughs> right, owned right. them. Um, but I think the weirdest one for me was that Werewolves Within movie that they did, where they were like, yeah. th- "This is based on the Ubisoft VR game Werewolves Within." With that we made we this is a ubisoft thing it's like werewolf is a party game werewolf is like, that's like saying you invent like this is <laughs> right. your hot new movie uh solitaire within based on the ubisoft original <laughs> product solitaire within <laughs> it's like and they like did even make before, ubisoft. yeah i mean solitaire yeah, that's true yeah they did make solitaire that's true and tetris they, that's all i mean i guess tetris, that's both that. like People are pointing out in the chat that Netflix does this too. Yeah, They're Netflix like, a Netflix this. original, and it's like, but no, it's not. You it's bought like a this. Studio Ghibli movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We are, we paid our yeah. we spent Warner our original money. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, it is a very the crew. The crew two the crew is two. happening. Okay, crew two is happening. Not like I mean, the crew. The crew, the crew two, two fucking sucks. sucks. Yeah, they're both, both of them are extremely bad video games. Like, The Crew 2 is incredible because they were like, all right, we have the document that says, here are all of the things that nobody liked about the video game, The Crew. And they said, okay, I'm going to copy and paste this list. What if we put boats in it and airplanes? Is that anything? And then the whole team nope. said, yeah, okay. And then they made the fucking video game, and it fucking sucks because it has all the same issues from the first one. It's me, incredible me, that wait. that game got new so, content. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, yes. wait. Let's, let's because no, no one actually cares about the crew, so let's talk about two games <laughs> that people actually kind of care yeah, about. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's talk about Far Cry 6. Uh-huh. Uh which I know there was a lot of a lot of groans uh, across the Hi, world with I'm Giancarlo Esposito. <laughs> I am speaking with a Latin accent like this. That's kind of what I think it sounds like. Why are Como they doing esta this? Ustedes? Como esta Donde esta ustedes? la biblioteca. Um, <laughs> wild. I was surprised it's, at how bad the Spanish was from, from so such bad. a fantastic actor. Uh, that that like threw me off really, really, really hard. Of course, the conversations around the the politics and the non politics and then repolitics of the of the game is there. We already kind of have have re rehashed that part of it. I think the thing that was actually really interesting was now that they're kind of moving into this space where they're doing a a um not a battle pass a uh, season pass. Uh, right. For this game, where you will be playing mm-hmm. as a lot of the older uh, main baddies in those in that DLC, I think that's kind of interesting and, and pretty shrewd of yeah. them to pull yeah. that back what as a marketing that, ploy to kind of pull you back in. Like I, it was well, like they were um, showing. They're like, "Oh, all the villains are here," and I'm like, "Oh, so is this like a side game where you play all the villains and it's trippy? It's like the new Blood Dragon." But then it was like, "It's mm-hmm. the Far Cry season pass." Like. Season what pass. Are you talking about? Here, it's like Here's episode one will be like a little thing where you play as Vaz, and then episode two would be a little thing where you play as Pagan. Like, I yeah, right? I, like I, somebody, I was ta- I was talking to somebody online, and they brought up a really good point. They said one of the things that uh, I think was I think, was it Colin? Maybe it was Colin. Um, brought up the fact it was like you know I really would I really am potentially more excited about playing the baddies because they actually had stories that were compelling even if you didn't like them even if they were kind of crappy and even if the the stories weren't that great as opposed to you as this kind of nameless faceless character that's always that character all the time and i was like huh that would be really interesting to see if the world reacts to you in the way that those characters were portrayed in those games and that that kind of gave you the the kind of scope of what that was supposed to be i i think that might be pretty interesting to see from a from a gameplay perspective, to play some of the the, the main baddies from all those games, I want to I want to go into that game as Giancarlo and talk bad Spanish to people before I kill them, yeah. and, and see what the, um, see I've, what that looks like. I've got two things on this on this video game. Yes, one, it doesn't look good, right? Visually, yeah. Fire Cry Six. Yeah, like it doesn't. It looks bad, or like a PlayStation Three game. Like it, it does. It yeah. looks really mm-hmm. old in a really mm-hmm. weird way. Like Far Cry 4 looked better than this. And I don't really understand how that's possible. It just like looks really weird to me. Second of all, we all, I watched you all watch this trailer. Did you know yep. that an old woman got shot in the head in it? Yeah. Do you notice that? 
Yeah. But it like did yeah. nothing to you, right? Like it was like, no. ah, all right. Like it's a oh, it's shit. a Far Cry village. We're, we're establishing that I mean, he's a cruel you, man. Yeah, exactly. Like that's, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, well, that's the cat. We're gonna it's do. shooting old lady. Well, yeah. Well, I think that that's at the. I mean, I think that's one of the major um, points that people have brought up about the Far Cry series is that there is no teeth in yeah. in the story because the baddies are all the baddies and they do the same baddie stuff in every game. Yeah. That's it is a it. lot of shock and sh- shock and and, and all mm-hmm. kind of stuff just for the sake of it, and that you don't really get a chance to. Um, you don't get a chance to meander through the conversation and the story in a way that gives you the reasons why you hate this person so much. Uh, and, and, and I think and... that's. Go, go ahead. Well, I just I think that's one of the problems, like with putting all of the villains back to back to back to back like that. Like one of the problems mm-hmm. with Far Cry mm-hmm. as a series mm-hmm. is that like every Far Cry game from three onwards has basically been too similar to every other Far Cry game. And I like Far Cry Four actually like a good deal for what it is, but it's just like Far Cry. 5, it's a lot like Far Cry Three, and Far Cry Five is just more of that. And then you put all mm-hmm. of those villains back to back on screen next to each other, and you realize, wow, they've really been doing this exact same thing since 2013 mm-hmm. with all of these guys. It's like, yeah. oh, it's a guy who talks a lot and so, and like mid sentence will shoot somebody in the head because he's the Joker. And, but yeah. but Steven, he is the kind of he is a charismatic person. He will sit across from you at dinner. <laughs> and convince you <laughs> of his right <laughs> name. And it's just like, no, but no, he's not. Like, because we've, we've, I've killed that guy three times now. I know he's mm-hmm. not the good guy. He can't convince me he, of shit. Here's, here's another part that they didn't show in this trailer, which even in the previous uh, kind of longer piece that they showed a couple of weeks ago that kind of talked about the world and the world building and all that kind of stuff. One of the other uh, problematic parts about the game has been that when it comes to the baddies, has been that you you wind up doing this weird book ending of this really terrible person. Let me try to not put my hand in the spot. <laughs> is you, try to, you you wind up playing against this really terrible human being, but also then you wind up doing all this really fantastical shit of like, oh, this bear just tried to shoot me over here, and then this other dog just came over here and tried to fight this lion. Like all this other weird stuff that happens in the space that throws off the ability to throw a really uh, interesting story of you against this really bad bad person. Um, they didn't show any of that in terms of, of of stuff today either, which I thought was was fairly interesting uh, from a from a you know how are we showing off our game perspective in that way. Um, they, they don't really show the game part of the game basically at all still, right? Like we don't. Know they showed if, some. I wonder if it's, they showed a little bit, but like we, okay. I wonder if the reason they're going to not do that really is because it's a, still a Far Cry game, so you'll still uh-huh. be crouching really low with your really cool mm-hmm, bow that mm-hmm. feels like good to shoot um yep. and then you'll crouch up and you'll shoot one guy and then another guy and you'll run up to the alarm box and it's just that same fucking loop again um yeah but yeah that makes sense that makes sense um any last thoughts on far cry 6 going um, once going twice hey blood dragon's back blood dragon's back hey, that, remember blood dragon we're, i'm excited for that play it. for sure did you all see that there's a Blood Dragon anime that they announced for Netflix like two days ago? Is it an original? No. <laughs> it's a Netflix original. It's ba- not wow. based on anything. Netflix came up with this cool thing called Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon that they started. Uh-huh. And it's like a, it's a, it's an animated series. I don't know. I can't re- actually remember what it looks like in terms of like visual yeah. design. I, I mean, it, like looks, it looks like what that would look like if you gave it to an American studio and said make 80s uh, right oh, yeah interesting yeah like, it looks like yeah. one of those um we've received yeah. a production note um yes so it's i guess time cut to this switch. part out of the audio but we're doing a live shit so we have to refresh our um our feeds so our call you go first yeah. and then yeah i'll go after you once you oh hit back. the hit the same link you mean yeah i would assume yeah i think just hit refresh oh okay 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 um, I think it's just because the the delay has gotten so fucking bad because we've been on here. For oh, a while. okay, 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 um, okay, okay. If you just uh, refresh the browser, it's probably fine. Yeah. Hey, chat. Yeah. Um, what do you think Microsoft's gonna do tomorrow? Tell me in chat, and I'll I'll uh, we'll talk about him at the end before we leave. Um. But yeah, you think they're gonna have Halo? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, 
I think I think the really interesting thing about Microsoft, not to like fucking talk about this early, but it's like they have gone from not having any fucking video games. So the fact that Halo got delayed was like, oh, fuck, you delayed the Halo game to now right. they have so many studios that are making so many games that I feel like from their perspective, it's like uh, it's fine if Halo gets delayed because we now have Doom and Fallout mm. and X, Y, and Z um, also. So it may, it, it's a fantastic point. I, it, we will see what happens in that space because they're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff very, very soon, I, was, I would assume. Um, last game of the Ubisoft, 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 Ubisoft conference uh oh, wait, mario wait before sorry before we keep going steven and merit refresh oh they're not back yet yep, oh just... well, when they get back oh, until they oh get okay back. yeah i just want to make it clear for jordan um when we're actually back oh okay yeah. gotcha gotcha all right we have returned we are okay, all cool. back together are again. we once again yeah, we, we return <laughs> the wicked and the divine <laughs> what were are we gonna say nikki uh, no, I think I just think we're good to go. Okay, good. Uh, last uh, game of the uh, conferences from Ubi 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 Ubi, uh, the Ubi original Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Everyone was super excited about that. I think everyone had good good words to say about that particular game. Uh, you know. Yeah, I mean, I really they kind of got the wind taken one. out of their sails uh, this morning. <laughs> they <laughs> <released> <laughs> Yeah, well, when... yeah, someone saw that it was posted on like the Switch store. So yeah. like, oh, right. I knew about this going into this. So like, you know, I was already kind of like, oh, yeah, they're doing a second one. But like, this is cool. They're, they're going to space. That's a pretty logical next step for yeah. a second one of these. You got it's Rapid like Rosalina, which is fun. It's like a Mario yeah. Galaxy. There's like a big, scary o space octopus, maybe. They um, made a Luna fuck a rabid. Yeah. Luigi has a bow what? now, which is cool. Instead of yeah. didn't he he have like a did he have like a vacuum gun in the first one? Yeah, or? he had a vacuum gun. Mm. Uh, Mario Mario's has Master Chief now. Mario is Master Chief. He's dual wielding <laughs> uh, plasma, two rifles. plasma rifles. Yeah. Wow. Um, Unreasonable. This, this uh, I think this is like it is wild to me that this game exists. This mm -hmm. is such a like Ninte like Ubisoft had every E three. They sent some guys over to the Nintendo booth and we were like, can we meet with Reggie? And then they said, sure. <laughs> and then those guys, the Ubisoft guys kept pitching this and eventually Reggie was like, fucking fine. And it worked out. It is wild that this get this first game exists. So it is wild that there is going to be a second one. Let me hit you um, with this. It is, it is wild. Ubisoft is the Jeff Keighley of game developers. <laughs> they... <laughs> For for years, they played the long con of just like, yes, we'll put out six launch games on your fucking what is what is this the Wii U? It's a it's a second Wii, right? It's a it's an add on for my Wii, right? I just plug it into my right existing Wii. Sure, multi seven multi games. Wii? Yeah, uh, seven the multi Wii. Games. So and over time, <laughs> they they eventually ingratiated themselves enough, and it's just like, and now you give us Mario, right? You let us play with Mario, mm -hmm. won't you? Like, hey, right. hey, hey, it's it's my turn to play with Mario, right? Um. Yeah, and they, it finally was. I want to point out this game has like we didn't get a lot of footage. There definitely appears to be some like Sun Wukong, Monkey King stuff going on because mm -hmm. the enemy that like jumps down to fight them is like this sort of like big monkey guy, and then the Luma or the Spark is riding on, uh, like the Monkey King's like the Flying Nimbus from Dragon flying Ball. Nimbus. Right. Um. So it definitely seems like that is part of the vibe which is a weird third thing to throw in to like this yeah. already two pretty distinctive properties but like i'm kind of curious about it also it has like like um uh the battles are different like they're like i think turn based but within your turns you have freedom of movement and attacking and stuff like it's like, like um what's that rpg series that does this valkyria chronicles yes yeah like yeah it so that seems really cool that seems like a really yeah. good idea for this kind of game yeah. I putting in like more platforming and stuff in there like more traditional yeah and mario type that makes play. it stand out too because the first game was good and i i enjoyed it a lot um it, it was i think a good first tactics game for people but like if you had played those kinds of games before uh it took a while to get going and so like having it be like you know um real time 
um, yeah. or turn-based real time really makes it stand out from like your XCOMs and, and other games like that. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, like the first game was tough for me to get into as somebody who plays like a lot of tactics games. Right. Cause it is, it is so directly XCOM related with like half cover, full cover type stuff. But then like right. you said, yeah. it took a long time to take off. Yeah. 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 Um, one last part about the Ubisoft Ubisoft uh, conference was the ending of that show that featured a interesting piece of commentary from Yves Guillermo uh, at the end of it, kind of coming through and wrapping up the show with a typo. Um, it, it also interesting that with all the, the, the controversy and turmoil that has been at Ubi or Ubi, uh, both of those companies, um, <laughs> that he was the person to close out that show in this kind of like, we're not even going to talk about it. We're not even going to discuss yeah. it kind of deal, uh, which felt kind of gross to most folks who were watching that show. Um, any thoughts before we go about that last bit uh, before we wrap it up? It's just weird. Yeah. I, it, like, it happens, it, right? It was, like, it, yeah. It, it feels just so much like the, their PR department was just like, we'll just pretend he didn't do any of. Can someone stuff. can someone just like um, sum up like what what happened that we're sort of referring to? So there was like a lot of reporting, various different instances of reporting about like various people, large percentages of Ubisoft across multiple different studios over the course of the last like year or two, talking about mm -hmm. Ubisoft and like harassment being like a major issue there, particularly sexual harassment and such. Mm -hmm. And just about two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, there was a report on GameIndustry.biz uh, about how basically none of that has changed in the time since. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the people who were directly accused are still in their existing positions. And very, very little has been done to change any of that. And there was a lot of, so I don't think that specifically, I don't think there has actually been like a lot of uh, accusations leveled at Gimo, like actually doing any of that stuff specifically. It's more that like he was specifically accused of knowing about it and being like, right. Don't, right. I don't, it just fucking get the games out. As long as like yeah. get the games out, I don't give a shit. Don't right. Come to me right. With this sort of thing. Um, yeah. And it seems like that has not really changed. And there was also that issue with Eve's Gimo on um, previous Ubisoft uh, videos. Like, I think they were also branded as forwards in the last like few months mm -hmm. where they were showing things like um, you know, they would talk about different things or whatever. And they did not make any mention of that. And then we're like, oh, we'll put a thing on this video that says that that addresses the accusations against oh, us. Yeah. And, and then it was like. There was then that didn't show up, and they're like, "Well, it'll be in the archive." Right. And then it, for like three weeks, it wasn't in the archive. So by the time anybody right. would have been watching it, there was no reference mm -hmm. to it or whatever. So it is like right. pretty blatant and concerted effort to just like pretend none of that stuff ever happened and move on. And sure. yeah, it's, it's yeah, very much a, a, a sweeping under the rug kind of move uh, that that wound up being in that space, which I think again is it's just a really telling tale of that. And then you have the conversations with David Cage that popped up a, a couple of weeks ago and, and, and all of that of lots of dudes in high power, high power positions being jerks and terrible human beings. So mm -hmm. um, before we get up out of here, we do have more coverage for hot game summer, 2021 coming up uh, tomorrow is going to be a wild, wild day full of conversations around Xbox and square Enix. Mm -hmm. uh, so please make sure you're back here at twitch.tv right. slash fanbyte. That's, that's true. That's you're right. You're absolutely correct. Absolutely. For sure. Yay. I think you, Khalif, you are about to let us out of here before we talk about uh, fucking Randall's Randall's hour. Who, what, where, what <laughs> you know, you're going to let you're going to let us leave this beautiful Internet program uh, that we're making here without talking about Randall's trick. <laughs> Randall Strick. And he played on on all of us. I mean, we kind of uh, talked about it, right? I'm so... I have no clue what the fuck y'all talking about. He's just uh, trying to become a Hollywood magician. Just um, let him yeah. in. He's oh, just trying to be a video game oh, and hard. Oh, just like, we just no, didn't talk about any of the video. Hard. Oh, wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Where's my USB key? I don't yeah, know where can I put you it. Slice oh, me no. off a bit of Homeworld <laughs> real quick? Yeah, I just want a quick slice of Homeworld. It's please, a really please. tiny one. I want to talk about Some exactly how excited <laughs> Kevin Hart was to talk about uh, the Borderlands movie. I've never seen someone come out of a truck, come out, of, come out of their green room truck with 
fuck you want energy that I did with, with Kevin Hart when he came out of his truck today. He was God. like, who is this tall ass white man knocking on my door? I'm just trying to sleep in here and get this money from this movie about this game I don't give a shit about. Yeah. But uh, it was really interesting to see Mr. Pitchford um, have a whole entire uh, conference that showed literally nothing of note at all it was the epitome of the this could have been an email conference yeah uh, in, in every way oh, god and we also he, talked about yeah. it a little bit before but it's like it 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 so clearly felt like nobody said he was coming and then he showed up mm-hmm. yeah i mean that, that's kind of the way randy kind of works <laughs> yeah well he's a magician he just appears in a puff of smoke you know yeah. yeah, he literally it, started that thing by saying, like, it, it, it's it was the kind of like presentation that you assume people do as like, oh, this is a scripted thing that you say at the start, and then as you watch it, it becomes with dawning horror more and more obvious <laughs> that actually he was serious when he said, yeah. "I just showed up and I thought it'd be cool if I filmed myself and showed it to all of you people." Um, he, and you're like, "Oh, okay." He came with yeah. his own headset and walkie, but his walkie is just like a walk man. Uh, yeah. He's like clipped it to his. He's clipped it to his belt loop, and then he's coming yeah. it with just like some so- shitty Sony headphones. And I'm like, it was I'm a, it was a movies. lot of it was a lot of Sony Discman uh, energy <laughs> happening right there mm-hmm. for for a lot of that part of the conversation. the the be- The blessing and the curse of that whole thing was the fact that it, it did, you know, show again how brilliant Kevin Hart is on the fly uh, yeah. when 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 given a, a time to shine. Uh, but I, I, I don't, I don't think any of the stuff that they showed during any of that conference made me more excited about that property, more no. excited about that particular movie, more excited no, about I, magic. Like yeah, none of this it, stuff felt better. <laughs> <laughs> the magic. Well, I can't possibly be more excited about magic. <laughs> my, my excitement about, about magic is already maxed out. So to be fair to Randy, it's just not possible for me to be more hyped about, yeah. about stage magic. Um, about magic. Godfall, Godfall coming to the fourth PlayStation came out of this one, right? Oh, yeah. yes. can't, I can't talk. I can't think about this. We're game not anymore. Gonna, we don't have to talk about the game, but that is wild. The, I, I, love I don't that think game. I've like I experienced. Care. Listen, I not listen. The it place it looks like you just press square a bunch to me, but it is. But you press, it, but you press it in rhythm. So the, the, the PS5 now has it. one fewer exclusive. Exclusive it has one fewer. Exclusive. Has that has that happened before? Because no. I can't think of a game where that has happened, where it's gone backwards a generation. Backwards. Mm. Not a game this high profile. Like not I'm after really they've really said. Like, that it is like only coming up for yeah. one thing. I don't think yeah. that would, here's that a, here's would, a, that would oh, that Nintendo would it be Nintendo. like Nintendo is saying like Pokemon Diamond and Pearl is now on the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Here, like, what the, do you mean? Here's the wildest shit. With all the conversations that happened a couple of days ago around the ideas around God of War being cross generation. <laughs> and being on both platforms and every Sam Sony fanboy head exploding. No yeah. one said a goddamn word about this going to <laughs> <laughs> going to PS4. And everybody said, I don't care. Whatever, B. Y'all do what y'all gotta do with that game. I don't give a shit. It's, it's just the money just, 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 just like the, if they think that the reason that this game failed is that it was only on the PS5, they have another thing coming because but it I guess, is a but think about this. bad video they can game. Sell, they can sell a lot of them at $20 yeah. in three months on the PlayStation 4, and that's they'll get true. a lot of For people sure. who don't know what video games are, and then that's, that's how they'll make the money back. This is what they should have done with Disintegration. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I, yeah, you're absolutely I, right. I know. Let me run your video here. game company. I know that we're all here to to talk about Godfall specifically, and I know that I'm the only person on this particular call that cares about this game. Um, Homeworld. I do. Though. Me too. Please tell me oh, about Homeworld. Um, yeah. Homeworld was. Did y'all see Battlestar Galactica the reboot? Yeah, a little. I'm, they just I'm 25 was, years old. So that series was basically, um, I love that, that, that series. Yeah, 25-year-old Nikki Grayson, huge fan of Battlestar Galactica, all the Cylons. You're 25, so, Nikki? Yeah. Oh, my God. What the God. fuck are you talking about? Um, basically, oh there, before God. that that series was out, there was a series of video games that that show just stole all of its aesthetics from um, uh, called Homeworld. 
and it was a really great 3D uh, real-time strategy game where you like the, the ships and units moved around um, like in a 3D plane. And it was like you mm-hmm. your base was like a mobile fortress that kept all of its damage and resources from one level to the next because it was like mm-hmm. jumping through hyperspace. Very cool, very interesting, innovative game. They've kickstarted a new one, a third one after like 20 years. Uh, not kickstarted, the fig. They figged a new one. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, they, you, you might tell <laughs> Gearbox really figged this one up. <laughs> Randy is really into figging. I've heard. Uh, that's why nobody Whoa. wanted to I'm talk to him. I'm so, that was oh so, I'm sorry. Oh my god! No one wants to. Oh my that. god! My <sighs> face, my face hurts. I god. think that's the perfect way to end this particular I'm, day. I'm one. Sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, no, don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. Oh. We we all we all take it in stride. Again, it's all about, in the words of Todrick Hall, uplift your own. That's the perfect way to end the stream. <laughs> um, this has been night one of Hot Game Summer 2021. Uh, we will be bringing you even more dopeness throughout the rest of the week and the rest of this weekend for sure. Again, please make sure you're coming back for all of the conferences tomorrow yeah. morning. Uh, I think we're going to be starting around yeah. what I, 10 a.m. Schedule. Yeah, yeah so you want to? So we're probably yeah, going schedule. to go straight through so we will be going live at around 9 50 for xbox ah. that starts at 10 um and then pacific time the schedule's on twitter and then right after that we've got square enix uh and then we will obviously do another one of these shows again at 6 30 pacific time so yep. come through tell your friends tell your friends tell your peeps uh we'll be back soon 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 so make sure you're checking out all the feeds uh, and share the love. Please let everybody know what we're doing. We're rocking real hard. A lot of people working extremely hard to bring you this fantastic coverage over the next couple of days. So uh, please, please, please share the love. And, and we'll see you all tomorrow up and early. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you soon. Hey, uh, Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye.